declaring your status in an affidavit of status. This is the third in a series of educational videos concerning Creator Endowed Rights. This presentation deals with establishing your status as a creation of your Creator, God, who endowed you with rights. The state, referencing both the state and federal governments, would have you believe they control every facet of your life. State and federal legislators, Congress and Senate, governors and presidents, would have you believe they can create legislation and sign it into law and take away or diminish your rights in the process. However, if you know your rights, they do not have the authority to take away or diminish a single one of your rights. Our rights originate from our Creator. Governments, not content to live within their limited delegation of authority given them by the people, have attempted to subvert our thinking into believing governments can do as they will and we must accept their every vote, rule, regulation, ordinance, and law as having lawful effect upon our Creator endowed rights. The state only has authority over what governments have created. The state has created corporations as artificial persons. One thing you may or may not know is that the state has created an all capital letters fiction name that looks very similar to your real name. Have you noticed that every document you ever receive from any city, county, state, or federal government, bureaucracy, or agency has what looks like your name in all capital letters? Social security card, driver's license, etc. Every corporation you receive a billing statement from does likewise. The all caps name, if you will, is an artificial person, fiction, corporation created by the state. We simply call that the straw man. That fiction straw man is subject to every whim of its creator, the state. That straw man is subject to the codes, rules, regulations, assessments, and laws of the state. But the straw man is not the real live you. The real living flesh and blood man or woman breathes air and exhales carbon dioxide and bleeds when the skin is cut. So the straw man is subject to the state because it is a fiction creation of the state. The straw man is endowed by the state with certain benefits and privileges to pay for licenses and to be subject to all kinds of fees, assessments, and taxes. Did I mention taxes? The living, breathing, flesh and blood man or woman is only subject to his or her creator who endowed the living individual with rights. Here's where it gets interesting. This is a true and proper order of things. This is what we must know and comprehend in order to stand up for our rights and be able to defend our rights. Your creator created you and endowed you, the living, breathing man or woman, with rights. You, as one of the living people, are above the Constitution and Bill of Rights. The Constitution recognizes and protects your Creator endowed rights. The Constitution requires all who desire to run for office or otherwise serve in government to take an oath or affirmation. Below the line is the required oath affirmation binds all oath taker public servants to support the Constitution, which means they are bound by oath or affirmation to defend all your creator endowed rights. Oath taker public servants collectively serving as governments created corporations and straw men. Corporations and straw men are subject to every whim of their creator, the state. Paraphrasing 2 Kings chapter 18, verse 29, how long will you keep hopping between two opinions? If your creator, God, is sovereign, follow him. But if the state is your master, follow them. You can declare your status as being one of the people, being a creation of God, your creator. Tens of thousands of individuals across this country are so declaring their living status by signing and having notarized an affidavit of status. Then the affidavit of status is taken to their local county courthouse and recorded as a miscellaneous filing with their recorder's office or auditor's office or other appropriate office for filing of public records. You can then ask and pay for a certified copy of your recorded affidavit of status. Attach a copy of that certified copy of your affidavit of status to every letter you send to any government bureaucrat or agent that wants to contract with you. Tell them you do not wish to contract with them. 
you are not obliged or obligated to contract with them because you are standing on your rights and the state cannot require you to give up a right for privileges. You are one of the people whom they serve. They have no delegation of authority to convert your right into privileges or licenses. For instance, the right to travel is a part of the liberty of which a citizen cannot be deprived without due process of law under the Fifth Amendment. Kent v. Dulles, 357 U.S. 116, pages 125 through 127 from 1958. Quote, the right of the citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon by horse-drawn carriage, wagon, or automobile is not a mere privilege which may be permitted or prohibited at will, but the common right which he has under his right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 2nd Am Jur 1st Constitutional Law, Section 329, page 1135. Quote, The right of the citizen to travel upon the highway and to transport his property thereon in the ordinary course of life and business differs radically and obviously from that of one who makes the highway his place of business for private gain in the running of a stagecoach or omnibus. End quote. State versus City of Spokane, 186 Pacific 864. Here are two points concerning rights versus privileges. Number one, traveling upon and transporting one's property upon the public road is our right. And number two, using the public roads as a place of business or a main instrumentality of business, which is a privilege. There should be considerable authority on a subject as important as the deprivation of the liberty of the individual, quote, using the roads in the ordinary course of life and business. However, it should be noted that extensive research has not turned up one case or authority acknowledging the state's power to convert the individual's right to travel upon their public roads into a privilege. Therefore, it is concluded that the citizen does have a right to travel and transport his property upon the public highways and roads and the exercise of this right is not a privilege. The state has no authority to convert a right into a mere privilege. This applies to all your rights, including your right to acquire and possess the best tools you can locate or afford in order to exercise your right to defend your rights. The Second Amendment doesn't give you any rights you didn't already have endowed upon you by your Creator God. The state cannot convert any of your rights into a mere privilege. The state also does not possess the authority to define your rights for you, so don't let them. Here is how your Affidavit of Status can be written. Affidavit of Status of John Henry Doe. Please insert your own name instead of John Henry Doe. State of, place your state here, subscribed and sworn with a little SS, county of, your county name there. Comes now, John Henry Doe, your affiant, being competent to testify, being over the age of 21 years of age, after first being duly sworn according to law to tell the truth to the facts related herein, states that he has first-hand knowledge of the facts stated herein and believes these facts to be true to the best of his knowledge. Number one, that your affiant is one of the people of these United States of America, being a creation of God and born slash domiciled in one of the several states. Number two, your affiant is a living, breathing, sentient being on the land, a natural person and therefore is not and cannot be any artificial person and therefore is exempt from any and all identifications, treatments, and requirements as such pursuant to any process, law, code, or statute, or any color thereof. Number three, your affiant notices that in these United States of America, the authority of any and all governments reside in the people of the land, for government is a fiction of the mind and can only be created by the people, effected by the people, and overseen by the people for the benefit of the people. Number four, your affiant at all times claims all and waives none of his God-given secured and guaranteed rights pursuant to the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States of America as ratified 1791 with the Articles of the Amendments. Number five, 
your affiant notices that pursuant to the Constitution of the United States of America as ratified 1791 with the Articles of the Amendments, Article 6, Paragraph 2, quote, This Constitution and the laws of the United States, which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made under the authority of the United States, shall be the supreme law of the land, and the judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary, notwithstanding. End quote. Number six, your affiant notices that as a matter of their lawful compliance to the reference Constitution, any of the people, while functioning in any public capacity, in return for the trust of the people, are granted limited delegated authority of and by the people with specific duties delineated in accordance thereof, shall only do so pursuant to a lawfully designated, sworn, and subscribed oath of office and any and all bonds required thereof. Number seven, your affiant notices that the only court authorized by the reference constitution to hear matters of the people is a court that conforms to and functions in accordance with Article 3, Section 2 of the reference constitution in which all officers of the court abide by their sworn and subscribed oaths of office and support and defend the rights of the people and are heard only trial by jury and in accordance with all aspects of due process of law. Number eight, your affiant notices that pursuant to this supreme law of the land and the God-given rights secured and guaranteed therein, this constitution is established to ensure that the dominion granted by God to all people on this land shall endure and ensure forever that this people on this land be free from any and all slavery, indenturement, tyranny and oppression under color of any law, statute, code, policy, procedure, or of any other type. Number nine, your affiant further notices that pursuant to this constitution, affiant cannot be compelled, manipulated, extorted, tricked, threatened, placed under duress or coerced or so affected under color of law by any natural person who individually or in any capacity as or under any artificial person, agency, entity, officer, or party into the waiving of any of Affian's rights or to act in contradiction thereof or to act in opposite of the moral conscience and dominion granted Affian by God. Nor can Affian be deprived of any of these rights, privileges, and immunities except by lawful process in accordance with the law without that natural and or artificial person in whatever capacity and so doing causing injury to your affiant and thereby committing numerous crimes requiring lawful punishment therefrom. Number 10, further affiant saith not. All rights reserved. John Henry Doe affiant. Individual acknowledgement. State of your state. County of your county. SS. I certify that I know or have satisfactory evidence that John Henry Doe is, are, the individuals who appeared before me and who will acknowledge that he, she, they signed this instrument and acknowledged it to be his, her, their free and voluntary act for the uses and purposes mentioned in the instrument. Dated and then signature line for the notary, notary public uh, for your state. My appointment expires in an underline. This is the first step in declaring who you are. You are a living, breathing, sentient being. You have rights endowed upon you by your Creator, God, not the state. You get to determine how best to protect your rights, not some elected politician that would deprive you of a right or even attempt to diminish your rights. They do not have that authority. But if you don't know if you are a living, breathing man or woman, or if you are just a fiction straw man, then how can you assert your rights in the first place? Let me put it this way. A man or woman with rights means politicians, governors, or presidents have no authority to alter, amend, diminish, or deprive you of a right. But if you don't know the difference between acting like and declaring you are a living, breathing man or woman, or if you're just a fiction straw man, then you will be assured to be treated like a straw man by nearly all politicians 
governors and presidents every moment for the rest of your life. They will watch you bemoan them for taking away your rights, but because you don't know who you are or where your rights come from or who has the authority to give or take away your rights, then you will just get beaten up by the media and oath taker public servants and you'll lick your wounds and continue to cry about it again tomorrow. Stop crying now. Declare who you are and let your politicians, your congressmen, your senators and governor and president know that you will not be mistreated and abused any longer. You are your government's master. Let your oath taker public servants know that should any infringement of your creator endowed constitutionally guaranteed and secured rights occur on their part or by any party with whom they claim any affiliation, you will scrutinize said infringements and any injury therefrom pursuant to 42 U.S.C. section 1983 and 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242 at minimum, and you will proceed accordingly. You and others similarly situated can sue your oath taker public servants in federal court for deprivation of your rights under color of law. There is no law and there can never be a law that would allow any congressman, senator, governor, or president to deprive or diminish a right of the people. Stop acting like a straw man. You are not a straw man. Stop living below the line where the congressmen and senators and governors and presidents will abuse you day in and day out. Unless you actually enjoy that feeling, then start living above the line and know your rights. Rights are all you really have. When you get to know them, they cover nearly every facet of your life. Remember, you are a creation of God, not the state. Start living above the line by declaring your status in an affidavit of status.